Good morning, my name is Su Mei Yi. I'm now a first year student of international business. The project I'm doing now is the Digital Camps of Student Board, and my study coach is Mrs. Becker. Here is the timesheet of our project. So we had our meeting on February the 6th, and then we hand, handed in our project plan on February the 5th, and then we handed in our project development plan in the, on the 27th of February. And today is the 10th of May, and I'm now doing a reflection video. So here is the three objectives that I mentioned in my personal development plan. So the first is innovation and creativity, the second is collaboration, and the third is finance and accounting. Okay, so the reason why I want to focus on innovation and creativity is because that um, in during the project with this kind of personality, I will not be running out of methods because I'm stuck into a problem. And besides, I'm personally not really a creative person before I started this, this study year, and that's the reason why I want to fa mainly focus on this objective. My second objective, which is collaboration, and I want to focus on this one, is because as a Chinese student, we don't really have many assignments based on teamwork. And now as a Hazat student, I, uh, it's really important to be a team member and to finish all the group works. Um, and also our project is based on teamwork, and that's why I think collaboration will help me a lot during the project and also during my study life. And my final objective is finance and accounting. As a business student, I think this is a very important skill that we need to have. And in the business world, the finance and accounting is also very important. So during, this, during the first year of my study life, we have the finance and accounting in our courses, and I think it's very important for me to improve it. So now I'm going to apply our study plans into the start into the start indicator. So first of all is situation. The situation we had is that we need to improve the learn page because according to the feedback from students and teachers, the using the using experiences of learn page was not really satisfied and that and that was our situation. And then the task we set up for ourselves is to come up with three feasible ideas to improve the learn page and then improve it and to make it better website for students and teachers to use. So the action we took is first of all we had a meeting together. We discussed about the disadvantages of our learn page right now and we came up with some with some ideas during the meeting. And after the meeting, we uh, studied deeper by ourselves after classes and after schools. We summarized our own using experiences on the, of the learn page, and then we tried to interview our students and our teachers. And then we combined two experiences and feedbacks together and came up with some feasible ideas. So the result now is that our learn page has already been improved. We have changed the dashboard so that students now can choose their favorite courses in front on, in front of their website, and also we changed the outlook of the uh, of the learn page into a better into a better IU. So generally, our result is that we successfully changed and improved our learn page. So now I'm going to talk about the reflection. Um, the first thing that I learned uh, for myself during the process is that I would say I'm now a more creative person than I was before. To be honest, I wasn't really a creative person. During some meetings and with group members, I couldn't come up with many new ideas and feasible ideas. So during the most of meetings, I was kind of the silent person and I have always been a listener. But however, during the, during the process of our project, I really pushed myself that I have to come up with three new ideas, three new ideas and that's why I'm becoming more and more creative. So during this process, I used many approaches to improve myself, and some of them really worked for me, and some of them didn't really work. Um, so for example, uh, we discussed together, and uh, we brainstormed, and we made mind maps, and we conducted interviews. Those are really good approaches that uh, helps that help me to be more and more creative. Um, however, sometimes I would also just push myself and just make myself to come up to think, to come up with new ideas, and um, that didn't really work on me. I mean, you couldn't really came up with any new ideas, just sit in front of your table and face your laptop. Um, so that's the process I use and also the analysis that I think of that I uh, could make on them. And the last question is, can I recognize those uh, personalities and improvements in other situations? I would say yes. Um, for example, right now is the last vlog of this study year and I'm also doing new pro uh, two new projects right now. One is for a business game and one is for a bio-based product. Um, those two are also 
team works and we have a lot of team meetings but right now I feel like um, I'm more active during the meetings than I was before I could also came up with new ideas and to share those with my with my team members and uh, I feel like I, there are nothing that cannot be solved as long as we have creativity so I think that really helped me in my study life as, as well as in my career life in in the future the next thing that I learned about myself um, is how to become a better teamwork as I mentioned before that almost all the assignments in my Chinese study life that has to be uh, finished by my own and that's why um, I had to admit that I'm not really a good team worker and ever since I'm here in Hazat um, they are team jobs and group jobs everywhere and I have to say that at first I was a little bit I was a little bit confused and also I was a little bit um, like uh, shy to communicate with our team members and I don't and I didn't really know what responsibilities that I could take and what responsibilities that I have to take but during this process of our project we really have to sit together and um, to discuss together because it's really hard for only one people to for only one person to improve the whole learn page and that's why uh, uh, we had meetings together. We divided different jobs for different people, and um, and then we combine everything together at last to say what the result is. And I think that really helps me to be a more to be a better team member. So what I'm going to do in the future with the personalities that I just earned uh, by doing this project. Uh, so first of all, I think that um, I will be an even more creative person in the future. I will try to do that. Uh, doing the meetings that I'm going to have or I'm going to conduct, um, I will not be as a silent listener anymore I will try to brainstorm with my team members um, and I will focus more on it I will try my best to come up with more ideas and um, I think in this world that everyone has that, that every culture and every country has already been combined uh, I think this is going to be very important for me to be a creative person uh, so that I could be more competitive in this intense environment uh, in this whole business environment and also being a better team worker, I will participate more in the future assignments, in the future works, in the future jobs. Um, and I will try to play a more important role in our in our project and in our uh, other assignments. Uh, I could say that the collaboration is kind of the most important thing in the business world. You cannot finish or success one business on your own. So I think this really helps me uh, for my study lives and also my future lives. And I would focus more to be, uh, to be well, a to become better and better during the teamworks. So finally, to sum up, I would like to say the most important things that I learned from this project is how much I could benefit from being creative and how important to be a better, to be a good uh, team worker. So in my future study lives, I would like, I would also like to mention another few objectives that I would like to accomplish in the future. Uh, so first is that I would like to increase my international business awareness, just to be more aware of this whole business environment. And second is that I want to improve my abilities on marketing and sales, uh, which is also a very important, which is also a very important part of the business. So that's my self-reflection video, and thank you for watching.